Oh, thank you, Emery. If spring cleaning is on your to-do list, and it should be, you definitely don't want to miss some key high-volume germ areas. Are you ready? And they're not places that might immediately spring to mind when you think of cleaning. So Nurse Jake is here with a room-to-room -room guide of his top sneakiest spots germs are hiding in your home. Hi. Exactly. Hi, good morning. We're going to walk through the home. So we're going to yes. go through some of the rooms in your home, and this is gross. You can see the germs behind me. We don't label those. No. <laughs> they look really gross to me, and they're hiding in weird places. For example, in the kitchen. Where? Yeah, so the first place is your coffee maker. It's actually the germiest place in your home. No. And it's because we use it daily. So this is a warm, moist environment, which is a great breeding ground for things like mold, yeast, bacteria. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you're cleaning it following whatever brand recommendations they have. And if it's something a little bit more generic like this, mm -hmm. what you can do, Lindsay, is do a cycle with 50-50 solution of water and white distilled vinegar. Vinegar is the best. But then make sure you do a second cycle with just water to get out the vinegar oh, taste. Get yeah, out you, that vinegar. you don't want that in your coffee. Fair enough. Yeah. And then in the kitchen, also some extra places you want to pay attention to are your cutting boards, your dish sponges, and inside of your sink. Did sponges get really disgusting? Yeah, and people keep them for a long time. Like me. Just and then throw it out. Like let it go. Let I it know, go. because some people have the ones that you just throw in your dishwasher to clean. Amory gave me one of those. That was yeah, great. But, but they do have a life cycle. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, so let's move on to the living room. In my house, I call this a dial. The dial. Uh, yeah. What do you call this? <laughs> a remote controller. Like what everyone else calls yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, so this is a dirty spot. Yeah, and the reason why it's such a breeding ground for germs is because we often forget to clean it in our routine cleaning practices. 100%. But what's the one thing everyone in the household does when they're homesick for a day? <sighs> They watch TV and they're touching the remote. Ew. So make sure to clean this at least once a week. You can use just a regular cleaning wipe or yeah. you can use a Q-tip or a cotton swab with rubbing alcohol to get right in between all the little buttons yeah. and get rid of the germs. Let's see how gross it really yes. is. Yes. Let's move on to the bedroom. Pillow. Yeah. Yeah, so when we're cleaning our bedroom, we often don't think about our pillow. But over time, they accumulate things like dead skin cells, our sweat, dust mites, and this leads to the growth of bacteria and allergens. So what you want to do with your pillow is protect it with a pillow cover, which can go underneath your pillow case. Mm -hmm. And that's a great way because it's off, it's hard to clean your pillow, right? Yeah. And so when it comes to our bed linens, the pillow covers, and the pillow case, you want to be cleaning it once a week. Are you doing that once a week? Your bed so linen? we're going to move on to the toilet. I, well, I was just in the bathroom. No, I'm yeah. not. But now I'm going to be freaked out about yeah. everything. <laughs> Especially yeah. something like this. Because when I say bathroom, you probably automatically think, OK, it's around the toilet. It's really gross. <laughs> But actually? Yeah, research shows that their toilets are actually the least germiest places in our bathroom. Because we clean them. We clean them. We <laughs> yes. think of them. So our toilets and our toilet seats, least germiest. The most germs are toothbrush holders. Oh, and so And that's gross. because when you think about it, they're on the counter, they're yeah. open, they're exposed. <gasps> and when we flush the toilet, no. fecal particles fly up everywhere. Oh my God. Yeah, and Flying getting on your fecal. toothbrush. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. So what you can do, so and just be cognizant of it, is move your toothbrush holder as far away from your toilet as possible. Or even better is cover it. Put it in a drawer, put it in a cabinet. And if you have something like this, what you can do is you can put warm water with bleach, let it sit for a bit and clean it out. Or if it's dishwasher safe, throw it into your dishwasher. That's a good call, actually. Yeah, oh. yeah fecal particles. No. They're really gross. No. Yeah. What about bags? Yeah, so in our home, we go out, we go shopping, right? For groceries, yeah. you're on transit, you're in your car, you put your purse or your reusable bags on the floor where our feet are. And what's the first thing you do when you get home? And like right now, we put it on the counter. We put it on our kitchen island. We put them up on the counter and we're spreading those germs. So it's just a good reminder that when it comes to your reusable cloth bags, throw them in with your washing cycle whenever you're doing laundry. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a leather purse or a fabric bag, just right. make sure you're following whatever the brand recommends to clean it because you don't want to dry it out and ruin the materials, and, and wipe especially that. a Prada. I need to buy more wipes. Do you do all this, by the way? Yeah, of, of course. course you do. <laughs> all right, Nurse Jake, uh, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, Always good to see thanks you. Thanks for having me. Uh, everybody, it is warmer than average for Western Canada, but coming up after the break, Kelsey has uh, details on why that's not necessarily a good thing. Stay tuned, Nurse yeah, Jake. thank you. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.